the pathway that leads to the granting of an economic subsidy, whether it's a direct ta taxpayer subsidy or otherwise, who decides that private developments, special projects get these subsidies? And it is this frustration that I, I believe is leading the council to propose and uh, I hope enact measures that strengthen concepts such as prevailing wage, such as living wage. Uh, the, it, it is, it is the, uh, the, the council's frustration, re reflective of the fr frustration on the part of the, the public that uh, is, is um, coalescing in this kind of legislation being proposed. The prevailing wages are important in this city, my office, has been charged, the Comptroller's Office, whether it's me or somebody else, the Comptroller's Office has been charged for a long time with enforcing the prevailing wage laws in this city. Uh, the City Council legislation, as I understand it, that's about to be, be uh, announced tomorrow, uh, will also charge the Comptroller's Office with enforcing many of the provisions in the living wage law. And uh, while I don't have a vote on that anymore, and I know Councilmember Melissa Mark Viverito, who we'll hear from in a little while, uh, she is an expert in these issues. Uh, they will push ahead with the legislation. I don't have a vote anymore, but I do, con I do support the concept of living wage. I was a co-sponsor of living wage legislation many years ago uh, in the early days of my city council tenure. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a proposal that is, in, is driven largely in part because it's really hard to understand who is making the decisions at an agency slash nonprofit organization like the EDC. Uh, it, the, the legislation seeks to it, set some kind of standard for jobs. Again, we want all jobs to cre be created in New York City. Minimum wage jobs as well as multi-million dollar a year jobs. We want every job to be created here in New York City. But when there is a taxpayer subsidy a public subsidy on these private, be private developments, it is absolutely logical that the legislative body, the representative body of this city impose standards that actually create good jobs in this city. It is not enough now to say X number of jobs are created, number one, because there's no guarantee that those jobs will actually materialize. But even if they do materialize, we want to make sure that they are good jobs that allow people to sustain themselves and grow and have a significant multiplier impact for the rest of the city. So uh, we look forward to this legislation that the city council